Okay, hello, in LPX Classic Vlog Time, once again, and I am indoors, yeah, again, this time because I actually have a bigger option, because my brother and Dove doing stuff, we will be in here. Uh, hey, today we got a day at the museum, written by Mary River Williams, but pretty simple this time, um, they, um, End up at a museum, and eat, and and the pack end up getting lost in there. Some of them, and Black has to you know, wrangle them before they get caught. And the game closes and stuff, and there's no pack left. <laughs> so there you go. Again, after a few vlogs where I had a lot to say, this one there's yeah, not a lot to say. It's pretty straightforward actually. You know, not in a bad way of work. It's like. You know, we can finish in a few episodes that, you know, were not very heavy, heavy, but they're like, the episode was after I got out of your handbag, and before then you had the first remote one, but you had a lot of things going on, so you would need a sort of a episode where that can lock everything off, but it's not like, a, you don't have to worry about the plot, okay? You don't have to worry about really much of the plot, you know. You will come with me more, you had a bigger plot in a way. Oh, that's gonna go in, we're gonna relax a bit and just and. And, and, and that works, I think, because, you know, you get a lot of them. Again, a few episodes I've had the pack being in front of play for, and, you know, boom. But this one kind of doing a few new things by mixing it in with the fantasy sequence of that being in, you know, period. Which, of course, when you get the song Dino Pack, which, okay, it's not like my favorite songs, but it, it keeps coming back because it's really catchy. And, and you know. <laughs> Then you know, and the thing, and I do like the way they think it went. Most things seem right, so they're going to bang a lot of the episode, and you start kind of buying into it, which leads to that before ending where they get in the game and they see, but they think a dinosaur is going to open up if any episode ends. They, they never come back to that. It's just a what the heck ending because it's like, wait, wait, if they act real back ring, that McQuinn can stand matching up with what they call in the thing. You don't know, and it's a nice sort of, um, what is this, you know? You know, you know, getting that kind of cup break one. Um, you know, I haven't think we'll have to go, but we will going to like that, but we'll, when we get to, if we get to that one, I'll go to that one. Um, you know, yeah, I can remember no big plot when I can move them running around. They keep up, because they have, like, the tension with Figaro and, like, King Um and a few other things, you know, and all the pet and coming back and forth. And, you know, and, yeah, well, one thing I don't like is that we have you know, Vinny being afraid of stuff again because they got poked with a pro zombie movie. Probably him zombie because why not? We were afraid like that the whole time. And that shit, by the point, had gotten old. They were starting to do again, but, you know, but here, it was like, they had done a few times going to look up to like, the guy for already kind of a little bit for a uh, kind of good guy. I don't know why you had to drag that in here. But that's not a big deal. It doesn't lead to anything, well. I mean, you, a bummy punk up at the end. Sort of. Not really funny enough, too. But, you know. Speaking of funny, there are not a ton of them in yet, but you've got a lot of little funny gag, you know, with a lot of crap. They can. In one part I possibly find funny is, you know, how, um, you know, you know, Pepper T is going to go start call, you know, that, I think, and, you know, they keep, you know, to the point where they, uh, jump out and just over the band and come get a good thing, which, and if Pepper is like, you know, I'm starting to take them personally, it, yeah, a lot of gunk raking going on here, I noticed. Have you guys can go Toby in? <laughs> Don't be raking. Can't Disney. Um, you know, I don't know why I find that funny. Um, in a cork, you have the great line, you know, early on where she got, you know, like, so inspiring. I feel a song coming on. What a surprise. Love it when they can lampshade the song. And they do it later. It's like, I can't talk about it. Oh, that better you did. Well, you could clean our song, I've not stopped you before. But that's my favorite joke in the episode. <laughs> yeah. And of course, and a few of them you can think, I like the security guard guy. I don't know why, what it's about him, but the security guard demeanor in the episode, I like. He's just being cool, I don't know. I don't got to feel kind of for him, you know. He's being so cool, I don't know what it is. Get in the episode, he's like, can I kid the guy? 
I want to guy Cory. The guy got think he appeared for the only character model done. Oh. You know. <laughs> yeah. But um but they can hold out too. We can have a lot of where you can't glean much from an outfit. Like if you finally get to tang you didn't you can come up with a bunch of blue you want for why it's good or bad, but it comes down to where I find fun and I found it fun. Hey again, it's not and one and again the form of creativity and it's more fun what got bring it up to being fully good instead of being decent. Okay, again, like, kind of, I do forever for that can be a bit bigger for comedy, but, you know, coming out of the fact, you have to, um, define, and if I'm very, very willing to go with, well, the better one, okay, not that I can tell from a rep code, none of, I can none of the trademark are here, and there's no format credit code, she must have came out of her, so, of course, I guess she wanted to do comedy, you know, and not much for, like, me, but a goofy stuff, showing that, right? yeah, she could just do something normal, and, um, we have any more avenues. You know, I'm probably have like you know, bigger thing like going on in some way, even if it's like minor like in to uh uh yeah, or even back like and then yeah. So again, not that epic, but one of the better ones I would say go. Overall it's just a fun little episode, you know, it's like again, not my favorite, you know. Or anything like that. If among the you know, in front of King and Go, get kind of the middle of a, you know, good, not but you know, good, genuinely good, just not one. But it's fun if you want to but go back to, you know, fun, it's like, there you go, go. That's all I got, that's not a whole lot of the game. Plot just move along for normally, and like a fan can keep on, like, joke for a meeting, like a catchy song. And you know, and a cringe and thing, it's like, there you go. And for all that, we're actually not completely inaccurate, but uh, you do have to ask my friends about that. Alright, <laughs> uh, you better than walking when dying from a kaboom. Uh, okay, I think it's time to end this and move on to next week. Now, I have a short one. We get not much to gay. I mean, again, if Kug got peanuts, it's going to happen to peanuts, they're probably going longer because of the definition of Kug got peanuts a few times. You know, a whole lot of Like, I try to keep these short and just like, and like, double dev kind of every single thing I like, you know? And let it pick out next week. But all good up, go. Now we're back, but still good. 21, okay. I forget. I think I vaguely know what it's gonna be. And. Okay. And it would be Terry Duncan Tiara. Oh boy, that one should have more, okay? So I'll see you next week for that one. Um, let me do a check. Mmm. <laughs> okay, and after that, boy, um, go. There you go. Finally got to do a short one after a few long ones. Go. Bye.